What's going on guys, Blinkfro here, and today I'm bringing you week two of my Miami Dolphins coach career franchise, whatever you would like to call it. And in the beginning of these videos, I will always show you the player progression, the injury report, and the opponent we're facing, along with any other important things, such as contract negotiations, as you'll see in a second. And uh, as you guys know, I've just really increased the awareness on my defensive players first, because they're all pretty young, and their awareness is pretty low, so we want to bump that up first and worry about everything else. So Jake Long, is uh, we're going into contract negotiations with him. We obviously want to keep him on the team because I think he's the highest overall guy on our team at 96 overall. And then also we have the defensive tackle, Randy Starks, who I believe is 28 or 29 year, uh, years old. He is 91 overall, so we do want to keep him on the field as well. Uh, if, we, if we manage to keep both of these guys, it'll be good going forward. We'll have a good base for the offense and the defense because um, those are two very important positions. And then we're going up against the Raiders, and you'll see Ron Bartel is out for like 26 weeks. And uh, the injury thing, I still still not sure about because of Madden 12. Every team would have like you know two or three injuries per team. This one, like half the teams don't even have an injury, and the other teams have like one injury. Um, but yeah, it's just a little complaint. I know I complain a lot, and I'll try not to complain too much in the future. But here we go up against the Oakland Raiders. We are 0-1, and I think they might be 1-0. and um, Could be completely wrong. I was not paying attention when it was on the screen before. But 2nd and 10, Ryan Tannehill is going to get sacked there, bringing up a 3rd and 18. And we're going to go over to the left-hand side to Kellen Winslow, and he is going to drop that ball. And I'm so glad I picked up Kellen Winslow. Because he is one of my favorite tight ends in the game, uh, in the NFL, I should say. And uh, he's just a beast. And he's going to, I feel like he's going to do really well on the Patriots in real life. And look at this, Darren McFadden getting close to the end zone. And he gets stopped by his own man. Like if his own man wasn't there, he would have totally made it into the end zone. But an unnecessary spin that worked to perfection. Don't know how that works out there. Uh, run DMC finds the end zone, Darren McFadden. So... Kellen Winslow is going to get the 7-yard reception there, and then Ryan Tannehill is going to go to the left-hand side to Reggie Bush, showing off his receiving game. He is very good at that, and I do like that aspect from Reggie Bush. You can plug him in at wide receiver, and he's really, really good in this game. And on the screen pass there, Reggie Bush is going to pick up more yards for 24 yards receiving on the day, and then showing off his carrying ability. As long as he doesn't get injured, he picks up, I think, 8 or 9 yards there on that play, 9 yards to be exact. Ryan Tannehill over the middle to Brian Hartline. Don't know how that was completed. The second I threw that, I was like, oh, God, that's going to be an interception. And I was surprised it wasn't, but Reggie Bush is going to get some nice blocks here, find his way into the end zone, and tie up the game 7-7. So things are looking pretty good. A better start than last week against the Texans where we threw, like, three or four interceptions in the half. <laughs> uh, so this is a lot better. Things are going a lot smoother. And uh, we do stop the Raiders there on third down, getting the ball back here. And now we're going to go over to the left-hand side and Le Legadu. I think you guys are saying it's Legadu today. Uh, I apologize that I don't pronounce some players' names correctly because uh, I don't have the opportunity to watch these guys on TV. Like, uh, I really only watch the Jets and the Giants and from time to time the Eagles since I live on the East Coast. So I don't know everyone's uh, proper pronunciation for their names. And I, I always said it was Legadu today because I never knew. So I guess it is Legadu today. Uh, so thank you guys for that. Uh, I just need to learn to pronounce the names better. Uh, but his spectacular catch is pretty amazing. And Denarius Moore picks up the first down there for the Raiders. And Carson Palmer is going to get brought down by Sean Merriman, my man, the defensive end. Um, I still wish he was a linebacker. I prefer him at linebacker. But defensive end is working out pretty well too so far. And uh, I forgot to mention that we are going up against Anthony Fasano. And what happened here? Denarius Moore with the wide open blown coverage by Marshall, uh, picking up a good yardage there. And then Carson Palmer going to the right hand side to Darius Hayward Bay. And uh, yep, that is going to be a touchdown, bringing the Raiders up 14 to 7. That play action with Ryan Tannehill to Reggie Bush, throwing a pick to Francis. I believe that is the cornerback from San Jose State University. I remember using him in NCAA. That guy was such a beast. He was like the only good player on that team. Uh, like two or three years ago but Nolan our cornerback is going to pick off a ball of his own and he is taking this one uh, 69 yes yeah, at 69 yards to the house for a pick six 
Uh, and that's going to tie up the game 14 to 14 with 122 left in the half. And Ryan Tannehill is going to get brought down for a three yard sack there. So we're going to hand it off to Reggie Bush, who's going to break it out to the outside and pick up quite a few yards there. I think that was eight on that play. So with 43 seconds left in the half, we're going to hit Kellen Winslow, who's going to shut off a tackle, find his way out of bounds. And we're looking to put up some more points by either a field goal or a touchdown. So we're going to hit Legaduna Ney there, who's going to bring us to the 40-yard line. We're going to call no huddle. Fourth and two, we're going for it. Ryan Tannehill is going to slide or try to slide safely for a first down. So 16 seconds left in the half. Ryan Tannehill going to the right to Devon Bess. And we're getting cocky. We're going to go no huddle once again. Going into the end zone, the left-hand side, and that one's going to be tipped and picked by Lee. That was a pretty good uh, effort by the computer. I really wish that would have hit the ground because I would have went for the field goal. But nevertheless, it's 14-14. And Lamar Miller, what are you doing? You're throwing the game away. The Raiders get the ball at the 24-yard line. Darren McFadden bumping into his own guys, which is a problem with the all-Madden um, running game. It always has been. I believe they're patching that in the future. Um, but Jacoby Ford, Jacory, Jacory, is it Jacory Ford or Jacoby Ford? I think it's Jacoby Ford. I, I always forget. Um, he gets the reception there, and the Raiders tack on a field goal to go up 17 to 14. Pump fake with Ryan Tannehill going over the middle to Devon Bess, picking up nine yards on that play. So we're gonna give it off to Reggie Bush, who's going to juke out a defender and pick up the first down there. And play action to Reggie Bush since we got a good gain on the run. Ryan Tannehill is going to scramble for five yards. And we're going to have to wind up punting the ball. So Darren McFadden is going to pick up close to a first down on this play. Uh, which will eventually bring up a third and one. Carson Palmer to Denarius Moore over the middle for another first down. Denarius Moore had a big game this game. You're going to see 62 yards receiving. And I think he goes to him once again here to bring up to 76 yards receiving on five receptions. Carson Palmer over the middle once again to Denarius Moore to give him 86 yards on the day, which is just insane. And then Darren McFadden's just going to shake off a tackle and take it to the right-hand side to pick up a first down. Good run there by Darren McFadden. Uh, a lot better running than uh, last week against the Texans because, once again, the all-Madden running game is just broken. Uh, All-Pro works fine, but I'd rather play an all-Madden to make it more difficult. And we do get a sack here with Randy Starks on third down, so we definitely want to keep him on the team. And the Raiders are going to attack on another field goal to bring him up six points, 20 to 14. Uh, so we're going to go for the quick pass there. Uh, Legadu Nene over the middle, 22 yards rec receiving. Uh, play action to Reggie Bush going deep over the middle to Kellen Winslow. He hails that one in. Or uh, whatever. He, <laughs> he catches the ball. That's all that matters. And Devon Bess is going to pick up another first down for us. So 7.15 left in the game. We need to get a touchdown here. So we're going to hand it off to Reggie Bush, who's going to pick up seven yards there. And someone got injured. Don't know who it is. And uh, we're going to pick up a first down. Scrambling with Ryan Tannehill once again. He's got some wheels. And we're going to use some. Reggie Bush going to the right-hand side. And we're going to get called for holding. So I believe it is time to pass the ball. If you're going to see, I put him west lines. We're going to try him out. And that is just a bad pass by Ryan Tannehill. He overthrew that one. I was really disappointed about that. Um, I wanted to just throw it up there and then try to catch it with West Lions. But that was overthrown, and now the Raiders have the ball back. With 4.04 left in the game, Darren McFadden's going to get stopped short of a first down. Third and one if we stop him here. And once again, there's that weird, like, the whole defensive line jumps um, animation. Don't know why. I see that quite a bit in this game. Um, but second and five, Taiwan Jones is going to pick up the first down to bring him to the 24-yard line. And uh, that's not looking good for us because under two minutes left in the game, they are within field goal range, and that is exactly what they're going to do. Kick a field goal to go up nine points, so it's a two-possession game now, and we really need to score quickly and get the ball back. So we're going to go deep to the left-hand side, and that one's going to get picked off by Lee. Uh, I thought West Lions... Might have shown something for us, but he didn't. Uh, last game, he got one touchdown. This game, not too good. I should probably not try to force the ball to West Lions. So we're going to sit him out for a little bit, see uh, see if we can get our offense back together, and come away with a win next week uh, as we fall to 0-2 on the season, which is good because I'm not 16-0. and I, you know, I always got to add that in there. Uh, you know, Just a little, like, these sliders are good because I lose kind of thing. Um, 
But yeah, another five turnovers, another four interception game by Ryan Tannehill. Got to work on that. I'm probably going to bump down the interception slider because, like I said, um, it's all me. I mean, I'll say that one interception that was supposed to be the West Lions in the end zone, that one was overthrown. Um, but it's all me. All the interceptions are me, so I need to bump it down because I'm not used to it being that high. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. These are going to come out more often. And as always, thanks for watching and tune in next time.